In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we are celebrating the memorial of St. Francis de Capillas, St. Peter Zanz, and companions. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask of Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. All-powerful, ever-living God, turn our weakness into strength as you gave your martyrs Francis, Peter, and companions the courage to suffer death for Christ. Give us the courage to live in faithful witness to you. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Samuel. There was a stalwart man for Benjamin named Kish, who was son of Abiel, son of Zeror, son of Bekorat, son of Apia, a Benjaminite. He had a son named Saul. He was a handsome young man. There was no other child of Israel more handsome than Saul. He stood head and shoulders above the people. Now the asses of Saul's father, Kish, has wandered off. Kish said to his son Saul, Take one of the servants with you and go out and hunt for the asses. Accordingly, they went through the hill country of Abraham and through the land of Shalisha. Not finding them there, they continued through the land of Shalim without success. They also went through the land of Benjamin, but they failed to find the animals. When Samuel coughed sight of Saul, the Lord assured him, this is the man whom I told you. He is to govern people. Saul met Samuel in the gateway and said, Please tell me where the seer lives. Samuel answered Saul, I am the seer. Go up ahead of me to the high place and eat with me today. In the morning, before dismissing you, I will tell you whatever you wish. Then from a flash he had with him, Samuel poured oil on Saul's head. He also kissed him, saying, The Lord anoints you commander over his heritage. You are to govern the Lord's people, Israel. 
and to save them from the grabs of their enemies round about. This will be the sign for you that the Lord has anointed you commander over his heritage. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, in your strength the king is glad. Lord, in your st strength the king is glad. O oh Lord, in your strength the king is glad. In your victory, how greatly he rejoices. You have granted him his heart desire. You refuse not the wish of his lips. Lord, in your strength the king is glad. For you welcome him with goodly blessing. You place on his head a crown of pure gold. He asks life of you. You gave him land of days forever and ever. Lord, in your strength, the king is glad. Great is his glory in your victory. Majesty and splendor you conferred upon him. For you made him a blessing forever. You gladdened him with the joy of your face. Lord, in your strength, the king is glad. Please stand. The Lord sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor and to proclaim liberty to captives. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went out along the sea. All the crowd came to him, and he taught them. As he passed by, he saw Levi, son of Alphaeus, sitting at the customs post. Jesus said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed Jesus. While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners sat with Jesus and his disciples, for there were many who followed him. Some scribes who were Pharisees saw that Jesus was eating with sinners and tax collectors and said to his disciples, Why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus heard this and said to them, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. I did not come to call righteous, but sinners. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat at welcome po sa Minor Basilica ng Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. Buti na lang, ito ang isa sa mga misyon ng Diyos na hinahanap niya yung mga sinners, not the righteous. Alam niyo kung bakit? Wala sanang pari ngayon. Lahat ng pari, makasalanan in one way or the other. Kayo, ba't kayo nagsisimba dito? Mga makasalanan kayo. Lahat tayo dito in one way or the other have committed mistakes in our life. Maliit man ito, malaki. And I'm very sure of this. Tayo po ay nagkasala, nadapa, nasaktan, nakasakit. Lahat tayo in one way or the other may kasalanan. Hindi ba? At buti na lang, ito yung sinasabi sa atin ng Diyos. I did not call, come to call the righteous, but sinners. Buti na lang. It's a consolation for all of us, actually. Pero ang tanong, manatili lang ba tayong sinners? Eh, lahat naman tayo may potential na magbago. Ang tanong eh, judgmental ka ba? Judgmental ba tayo sa buhay natin, sa ibang tao? May isang kwento ng dalawang monks. Dalawang monks. Habang sila po'y naglalakad, may isang ilog. 
tatawid sila sa ilog. Meron sila nakita isang magandang babae na gustong tumawid. Ang problema nila, bawal sa kanila na humawak ng babae. Kaso, yun nga lang, naawa sila doon sa babae. Kaya nag-usap yung dalawang monks. Sabi nung isa, Naku, paghawakan mo yan, nagkakakasala ka. Sabi nung isa, kawawa naman. Eventually, tinulungan nung isa, yung babae. Tinulungan. And when you help people, sometimes, or most of the times, you have to touch them. So hinawakan nung isang mong tinulungan na makatawid. Sabay-sabay silang nakatawid doon sa kabilang banda ng ilog. Yung isa, nagre-reklamo. Sabi niya, nako, nagkasala ka, so on and so forth. Kami sinasabi, eh, kasi bawal nga sa kanila. Bawal na bawal. Habang sa, ang layo-layo na lang parating nila at malapit na sila sa kanilang, dis, uh, sa kanilang destination, complain pa rin ang complain yung isa. Sabi ng isa, alam mo, ako, iniwan ko na yung babae sa kabilang pagdating na pagtawid na pagtawid natin, iniwan ko na yung babae doon. Ikaw, hanggang ngayon, dala-dala mo pa rin. Marami sa atin ang ganun na kuminsan kapag ka meron tayong nakitang mali o pagkakamali, yun lang ulit-ulitin mo. Di ba nakakabuisit? Kaya sa mag-asawa, ilang years na kayong mag-asawa, tapos ulit-ulitin mo yung kasalanan ng asawa mo nung kayo nagsisimula pa. Anong tawag dyan? Judgmental ka. Hindi mo nakita ang potential You don't see that this person na maaring nagkasala or sa monks, they just, he just wanted to help. At iniwan na nga niya yung babae. Yes, maaring nagkasala siya in that way. Pero sabi niya, alam mo, iniwan ko na yung babae doon. Ikaw, dala-dala mo pa rin hanggang ngayon. Judgmental people will always Remind you of your sins. Kaya nga ang Diyos, kung titingnan ninyo, nung tinawag niya si Levi, also known as Matthew, he is a tax collector. He is a sinner. And during those times, bawal. Ito po, hindi proper na makisama ka dun sa mga yun. Bakit? These are sinners, makasalanan, kurap. And to be associated with them is something that they don't want. Anong nangyari sa mga pareseyo at mga skriba? Judgmental sila. Bakit ka kumain kasama sila? But you know what? Ano nangyari kay Levi o kay Matthew? Nagbago po ito. Ani is... By the way, he is isa sa mga nagsulat. Ah, the Gospel according to Matthew. Kita mo na yon. Nakita ng Diyos na pwedeng magbago. Pwedeng, pwede. Kaya kapag ka-judgmental ka, you always look at the, the physical appearance at hindi mo makikita ang tinatawag natin na potential na magbago ito. But the Lord saw something in Him. Kaya sinasabi nga niya, I did not come to call righteous, but sinners. Ano nangyari? Nagbago si, Ma, si Matthew o si Levi at sumunod kay Kristo. Sometimes in life, kapag kapaulit-ulit natin, ulit-ulitin natin ang kasalanan ng tao na matagal na niyang nagawa, Sometimes, hindi na lang nagbabago ang tao. I have seen, ito po, minsan natatawa ko kapag may mga young couples. Siyempre, may mga, ano man talaga yan, na nagkakamali minsan si babae o si lalaki. At kapag inuulit-ulit palagi, 
Lahat na lang ng action sa limbo si lalaki, lahat na lang ng actions niya sa sabi ng babae. Saan ka na naman? Is in reference to the last scene. Alis ako, darling. Saan ka na naman pupunta? Magano ka na naman? Oh. Kita mo hindi na tuloy magbabago yung tao. Nagiging judgmental ka na in every actions. At tandaan natin na kapag ang Diyos ay tumawag, God will always transform the person. Yun yun eh. Kasi sa totoo lang, in God, there is no sin so grave that God cannot forgive. There is no past so bitter that God cannot accept. Sapagat sa Diyos, walang kasalanan, gaano man ito kagrabe na hindi niya kayang patawarin. At walang nakaraan, gaano man ito kapait, na di niya kayang tanggapin. Imagine Matthew, during those times, kapag ka tax collector ka, maraming galit sa'yo, maraming inis sa'yo, maraming ayaw sa'yo. And yet God chose him and called him. Tandaan po natin yan. Palitan natin sa tunay na nagmamahal. O oh, yan. Sa tunay na nagmamahal, walang kasalanan, gaano man ito kagrabe, na di kayang patawarin na ng taong nagmamahal. At walang nakaraan, gaano man ito kapait, na di kayang tanggapin ng taong tunay na nagmamahal. When God calls us, He would always transform us. Kaya kapag tayo po gusto natin magbago yung tao, mahalin natin. And I'm very sure, makukonsensya yan, magbabago yan. Huling kwento, merong isang lola lumapit sa akin. Father, sabihan mo nga yung aking apo na magbago na. Tinin na ko yung apo niya. Bakit po ano pong bali doon sa apo niyo? Father, napakapilyo kasi. Ayan. Kausapin niyo nga, Father, kinausap po yung apo niya. Uy, pilyo ka daw. <laughs> Sabi sa, tinawanan lang ako ng apo. Father, hindi lang yan makasakay sa akin si Lola. Generation gap father. Sabi ko, hmm, posible. Sabi ko sa kanya, mabait naman nata yung apo mo. Tapos tumawa, tiningan ako ng Lola. Father, konsentidor ka rin. Biniro ko na yung Lola niya. Alam mo la, baka minsan ang problema, wala dun sa apo mo nasa sayo na hindi mo matanggap na yung apo mo ay hindi mo maintindihan. Okay naman. Sabi ko, mahalin mo yung apo mo ng buong buo. And I'm very sure, magbabago yan. Ganun niya ang nangyari. Tinanggap niya kasi nakatira sa kanila eh. Nabubuisita daw siya kasi matagal na. Hindi pa nakakagraduate. Eh siyempre, alam mo na makabataan ngayon, may sariling time frame father, ganitong age, nakagraduate naman. Ngayon, mabait naman. Misan, nakikita ko sa Facebook, nag-high father, successful na sa buhay, may sariling pamilya, responsible naman. Kuminsan, sa totoo lang, if you want people to change, love them. Makukonsensya yan. And I'm very sure, they will change. Di ba nakakonsensya yung mahal na mahal ka, Walang yaka pa rin. Ma-realize mo, ba't kaya ba ako pinapera pa pa yung mga taong ito? Alam mo sila mag ginawa sa ako, hindi mahalin ako. Ganun po ang nangyari kay Levi o di kay, kay Matthew. God accepted him. God loved him. God trusted him. And he changed. He followed Christ. Nagbago siya. Sumunod kay Kristo. At ngayon, ang kwento niya ay binabasa natin. Remember, there's a gospel according to Matthew. Remember this, in God, there is no past so bitter that God cannot accept. In God, there, are no, there, there is no sin so great that God cannot forgive. Because remember, God did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. 
buti na lang. Let us all stand. Christ came to all sinners, offering them salvation. With humility of spirit, aware of His call, let us bring our prayers to the Father. For every petition we shall answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may be seen as the healing home of the weak and the sinful, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who hold public office may be honest and faithful to their duties, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That consecrated persons like Mary may dedicate their whole lives to God and to the church through their witness of poverty, chastity, and obedience. Let us pray to the Lord. <clears throat> that we may look with compassion and understanding to those persons who are leading sinful lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may experience the saving power of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we also pray for our personal intentions, and we also pray for the safety of all those who will be traveling today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, direct the minds of those who are called to make crucial choices in their lives. Give them an understanding heart, sound judgment, and a burning desire to do what pleases you. We make this prayer. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord, accept the gifts we bring to celebrate the feast of your martyrs, Saints Francis, Peter, and companions. May this sacrifice free us from sin and make our service pleasing to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your, when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours. Through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the hosts and of angels, cry out and without end, we acclaim.
please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, let the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We, we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say,
deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I keep you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel. Prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, violation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From this honesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. 
That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and saviors of nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Lord, may this food of heaven bring us a share in the grace you gave the martyrs Francis, Peter, and companions. From their bitter sufferings, may we learn to become strong and by patient endurance, earn the victory of rejoicing in your holiness. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick, and afterwards the prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Feed them from all illness, restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.